Instructions for Replacement of JA Solar Module Junction Box Please put a module with damaged junction box on the platform. To prevent the glass from the scratching and the occurrence of micro cracks, please make sure the platform is clean, tidy, and without any foreign materials. Lay up modules according to above method. Please be noted, in order to prevent micro cracks, the number of piled modules should not exceed 30 pieces. The following tools should be prepared before replacing the junction box. 1. A 2 to 4 mm flat blade screwdriver, used to open the lid of the junction box and digging out the internal silica gel. 2. A scraper, used to cleaning residual of silica gel on the back sheet. 3. A measuring cup, used to mix potting gel type A and gel type B. 4. A pair of gloves. 5. A gluing gun. 6. A temperature constant electric soldering iron for soldering ribbon. 7. A pair of needle nose pliers. 8. A multimeter used to checking electrical parameters of module. 9. An electronic scale. In addition, the following materials should be prepared before replacement. 1. A new junction box. 2. Soldering wire. 3. Silica gel. 4. Potting gel type A and potting gel type B. The procedure of junction box replacement shows as below. Step 1. Remove the defective junction box. First, use the flat blade screwdriver to pry open the lid of junction box. The prying point is the snapping position of junction box short side. Second, when the lid is removed, Use screwdriver to dig out the potting gel until the soldering point is exposed. Then, press the electric soldering iron on the ribbon and melt the residual tin. Meanwhile, use the screwdriver to lift up the ribbon. Please be noted that the ribbon and the soldering joint of the junction box should be separated completely. Next, lift up the terminal of the junction box with left hand and slightly insert the scraper into silica gel with right hand. Make sure the angle between the scraper and back sheet as small as possible. Do not damage the ribbon while scrapping the silica gel. When junction box sealant is getting loose, pull the cable of the junction box toward the nearest frame and make it separate from the back sheet. After dismounting the junction box, use the scraper to remove the residual of silica gel on back sheet. Finally, use the needle nose pliers to make the ribbon perpendicular to the back sheet and use the electric soldering iron to remove the residue of silica gel and tin on ribbon. Then place a new junction box on original position on back sheet with ribbons through the assembly holes of the junction box to check the condition of ribbon and fine-tune the position of ribbon if necessary. Step 2. Install the new junction box. First, dispense the silica gel onto the back side of junction box according to the following method. Then, put the ribbon through the assembly hole of the junction box. Step 3. Weld the new junction box. Melt the soldering wire with the electric soldering iron and weld the ribbon with tin joint. Use the flat blade screwdriver to press the end of the ribbon for 1 to 2 seconds. Please follow the above soldering sequence. Please avoid damaging the junction box by the electric soldering iron and tin drops during soldering process. Step 4. Visual inspection and the electrical performance checking. Visual inspection should be performed after soldering. The acceptance criteria is the melting tin can fully fill in and wrap the red line region. In other words, there is no any gap around ribbon and the width of the tin filled in the assembly hole is more than 6 mm. Expose the module to sunshine and use the multimeter to test open circuit voltage. Please refer to JA Solar product data sheet. Soldering process is successful if the test results are within the open circuit voltage spec of data sheet. Step 5. Potting and curing. Use the electronic scale to measure the weight of gel type A and gel type B potting gel. 
Mix them in measuring cup as per the prescribed mixing ratio provided by J.A. Solar. Then dispense the potting gel into the junction box. The height of gel should be same as the height of junction box inner edge. Then make sure the module is flatwise and weight silica gel and potting gel are fully cured. Make sure the curing time is more than 4 hours. Assemble the lid with on the junction box after gels are fully cured. Step 6. Final Inspection Use the multimeter to check the open circuit voltage of the module. The junction box is successfully replaced if the parameters are within the spec. Harvest the Sunshine J.A. Solar <laughs>